Today I'm reviewing an OTT TV box. This is the MXR 4K Ultra HD version. Uh, this is a full-blown Android TV multimedia gateway. Um, when I first agreed to review it, I thought it was just going to be like another Raspberry Pi clone, like the Roku, the Chromecast, the Fire TV Stick. But this is a full-blown Android computer as your TV multimedia center. Um, I am blown away. It is my new primary TV device. Um, hands down, worth the money. Let's show you what you get in the box here. You got our TV box. You've got your USB 1 port. I guess I call that USB 4. You've got SPDIF digital audio output as well as standard RGB uh, video output for those of you with older TVs or if you're trying to output to a, a small LCD screen plus your HDMI port, Ethernet, and it does have built-in Wi-Fi. Then check this out here. We've got MMC and SD card slots, okay? You can put in a big card and play all your video files right off the card, or you can attach a external USB storage device and play every movie in your arsenal straight from your Android TV computer now, um, as well as keyboard and mouse, um, pretty much any USB peripheral. I have not tried a printer yet, but it, uh, it does have Android printing uh, drivers uh, ready to go. Here's our RGB breakout cable. They do include an HDMI cable. I've got it still attached to the TV. Here's our AC adapter and our remote. And I was uh, kind of skeptical about how easy it would be to use the remote on an Android device, um, but it does work okay. I would highly recommend getting a mouse, though. Uh, the TechNet uh, little wireless mouse is my first recommendation, and I'll put a link to that down in the video description below as well. But let's jump right into the setup. I'm going to show you how to fully set it up how to get the most out of this box, and I'm going to try to do it in under five minutes. Android TV home screen. This is where you're going to access all of your common features. Online video, I've got Netflix, Amazon Instant Video, Bubble UPnP, and MX Player. You can add whatever applications you want in every single one of these folders here. Uh, my recommend, I guess that's supposed to be my favorites. Uh, I wish I could change that but uh, that's probably my only complaint with this device. You can customize that however you want, except for the names. Going to settings here, you've got all of your standard Android settings. Um, you've got your Wi-Fi and Ethernet. You can hard set your gateway and DNS settings, which is something you cannot do on the Roku or Chromecast. Um, all your standard settings are here, including uh, printing. You have a uh, USB printing enabled. And in my apps here, you have all your installed applications. Check that out. Super Sue is already installed. This thing is rooted and ready to do whatever you want it to do. First thing you want to do when you uh, first turn this on is you want to sign into your Google account and go ahead and uh, open up the Play Store. It'll have the old puzzle piece looking Play Store icon. Go ahead and open that up. Agree to the Play Store license terms and go ahead and let it update the Google Play Store. You need to update the Google Play Store services so that you can do pretty much everything. Uh, it's going to run really slow and crappy until that update is complete. So it's almost worth just uh, going into the Play Store, uh, agreeing to whatever terms and conditions it says, and then just let the box sit for like an hour. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and install whatever applications you want. It only has one gigabyte of installed memory, so I would recommend putting an SD card in and transferring all of your programs over to the SD card. Uh, once you do that, um, you can put whatever apps you want. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, whatever you want. And you can access all those from any menu on the system there. Um, here's the Gadget Class uh, TV Pages Manager. That would be the same as uh, clicking Facebook there. So very quickly, I want to show you how to set up Amazon Instant Video. That is the only thing that might give some people some trouble. Amazon, for whatever reason, has gimped out the ability to use Amazon Instant Video on phones and tablets. I don't know what they're trying to protect there. But there is a workaround, and I will show you that now. Um, you are going to need to download a couple things. Open up your Play Store. And I'm going to have you download uh, Astro File Manager. 
If you have a preferred file manager, go ahead and install that. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and download Chrome. And I am using a wireless mouse. I would highly recommend using a wireless mouse. I'll put a link to this TechNet down in the video description below. That being said, the included IR remote does work surprisingly well. I was actually able to go through 90% of the setup using the included IR remote. It even has a mouse mode where you can uh, use the remote as a mouse. It's kind of slow and cumbersome, but you can do everything with the included IR remote and it does everything surprisingly well, but I would highly recommend a wireless mouse and possibly a wireless keyboard. Um, once you get it all set up though, it's uh, easy to control with the uh, with the included IR remote. So we've got Chrome, we've got uh, Astro File Manager. While we're at it, let's go ahead and install Bubble UPnP. That's your DLNA, Plex, and Kodi uh, Media Server Access Point. Really useful application and it works really well in the Android TV environment. And while you're at it, you can install, uh, you know, Netflix and all those sort of things. Down here at the bottom, you see our standard Android buttons. We got home, back, um, apps, and uh, volume. And then up here at the top, you see your standard notifications. And on the other side, you have your standard settings and uh, widgets there. So let's go back home. And we're going to open up Chrome. And in order to get this Amazon Prime video thing working, you're going to have to download a special version of the Prime Video app. So what I'm going to have you do is open up Chrome and just do a general search for uh, XDA Android TV Amazon. Once you do that, you're going to click on this link that says Amazon Prime Video On Demand on Android TV. Okay, that has the files we want on it. I'll put a link to that down in the video description below, but since you're probably doing this on your TV, you're probably going to want to just search that. Once you're on this page here, scroll down to installation steps, and then click on this one that says Amazon VOD. I did not have any luck with the edited version, and the Amazon VOD one uh, works perfectly well. So go ahead and click on that. What it's going to do is it's going to start a download up here at the top, just like it an Android uh, phone or tablet, it's going to start that download there. And once that is done downloading, you're just going to open up Astro File Manager, click on download, and you'll see this zip file right there. That's why we downloaded Astro, because we need to be able to unzip that file. Just double click on it, and uh, Astro will unzip it to that folder we were just in. And uh, you're going to want to open it with the package installer. Um, that's basically going to install the APK. Once that's done, I would highly recommend uh, go ahead and deleting this. Because this TV box only has one gigabyte of space, you're going to want to be deleting your temporary files and copying all of your installed programs over to your installed SD card. So now that we have that installed, our Amazon Instant Video is good to go. When you open that, open this for the first time, it's going to ask you what program you want to use to open it. You want to select Chrome and select Chrome as the default. That's going to open up this web UI right here. And this is going to allow you to watch all of your stuff. So this is a series I've been watching over the last couple days here. And it automatically knows where I am. And I can con continue where I was when I left off. Seamless and easy. That's the way to do it right there. So in terms of video, um, that is the most complicated right there. Netflix, you just download it, put in your username and password, and you're good to go. Um, Bubble UPnP is a great app. I would highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. If you uh, run any kind of a Kodi 
any kind of a, a Plex server, or if you have a Windows PC sharing media files across your network, uh, Bubble UPnP is going to allow you to play any file from any one of those servers to any renderer on the network. So as soon as you open up here, um, you select your renderer. I'm going to select re local renderer because I want it to play on the TV, but I could just as easily play it straight to the TV's own DLNA server. I could play it to my Chromecast. I could play it to my Roku. Any renderer on the network will show up there. For library, um, I'm going to select my, uh, I've got a media server on my PC. That's my Plex server. I'll select that as my media server. From there, I can select anything I want. Uh, I want to play some music. Go in there. Um, if I want to play videos, can browse my entire uh, my entire library and play anything I want. Very seamless, very easy. The sons of Mithras businesses. If I marry Camilla Patsy. Very easy. From there, you can go ahead and install your Netflix, your Facebook, all of your standard applications that you would normally use. You can install your weather apps, um, anything you use on a daily basis on your phone. You can do just as easily on your TV now. Um, no more staring at your, your at your phone while you're watching your TV. Pretty simple. Pretty easy. And uh, I would highly recommend this product. Uh, make sure you hit yes for found this review helpful. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button on the YouTube channel and the thumbs up on the YouTube video.